Okay, well, Big Creek Players, we started in 2007. Um, our first show that we did was Into the Woods. I, Mrs. Alaski, uh, who also works over at Big Tri Creek with myself, and I just kind of got together and decided that we really were interested in putting together some kind of a musical uh, production program for the kids at the elementary level. Then it was uh, 3, 4, and 5, because they had 3, 4, and 5 at Big Creek at the time. So one of my favorite shows is Into the Woods. So together with my brother, Kevin Epic, who is, um, he's in the music business and a composer, he helped us with the music that year and played the piano. And we had a great group of kids and it was just kind of went from there. So we've been doing shows every year since then. Started at Big Creek and then moved our way up to Mid Park. And this year we're over here at the Ford um, Intermediate School. So it's been a great journey. Well, obviously having third, fourth, fifth and adding the sixth graders this year really does set it apart because a lot of the musicals that you see at the um, at the schools have either middle school kids or only or high school kids only so including also some of the younger kids has been really rewarding. I've found that mostly the third graders, fourth graders, they have no inhibitions, they'll do whatever you want, they don't ever say I can't do something because they haven't reached that point of I I'm embarrassed to be somewhere or to do something and they're just very open to the process which is really exciting. It is a process. We start very early in the year. We start in August um, with auditions. We actually start a little bit earlier now. We do a two-week theater camp in uh, July and we kind of showcase the, the show we're going to do, work on some of the bigger chorus numbers and it kind of gets us, you know, like a head start to working on choreography, learning the songs and that kind of stuff for the kids. And then we rehearse for two days a week starting, you know, in late August, beginning of September, all the way through February when we do the show. So they get a lot of rehearsal time and just that repetition helps them to kind of learn the shows. And our policy is I'm not going to teach you the songs. You know, they can learn the songs themselves. They do it on the radio all the time. So we kind of work more on the dialogue and the direction. And they are, they're kind of on their own with the songs, but they always do a great job with that. And so the process kind of works. It, it you know, they, they do their part, we do our part, and it comes together. <laughs> it's a Disney show, and Disney shows um, for me, are challenging a lot more than even Into the Woods or Pirates of Penzance, you know, or Princess and the Pea we did, just because they have a, it, you know, people know the show a lot more because they've known the DVDs and the, the you know, versions that they've seen. And it's, it, it's harder to translate it actually to the stage when, especially if you have a limited budget, because a lot of stuff is high tech, and a lot of the things you'll see them do in some of the Broadway versions of Disney shows require, require a lot of work and a lot of, you know, being able to do stuff on your set that we don't have the ability to do. So we have to get creative. There's a lot more, um, they have a lot more scenes in Disney shows. So it is, it's a little bit more challenging, because you know the kids know the show inside and out to begin with, so it's not like you can just, you know, I'm going to pull this out. So if you pull things out, kids go, hey, where's that song, or where's that piece of dialogue that didn't happen or where's the monkey or you know so there's things that are different so it is a little challenging that way just to make it entertaining for the kids that way at least they'll have that but we don't have the tiger and we don't have the monkey and those two things are not really written in and in some versions of this show the carpet is actually a live person playing the carpet ours is not it kind of is an actual carpet that will be ridden around so so different versions do it differently so it's just it's unique it's you know but it's theater so you kind of put your own flair on it so it's good <laughs>